Hello and welcome back. This is Dave Reiner from Synergist Technologies. Uh, I just recently went through some of my uh, YouTube tutorials and I look at the comments. I should certainly do it more often. But I noticed a comment, actually it was two, uh, on, a, on a video that I did some time ago and that was creating ribs inside of Fusion. And one of the comments was, can I can I create a rib on a angle and then can I create a rib uh, up against I he said a circumference so I'm guessing up against like a boss or a circular um, a circular object and the answer to both of those is yes so I thought I'd quickly go through um, how how to do that so what I did is I, I prepared a model here and I have a couple sketches on so I just want to go through real quick and what I did is I just um, I just created a, um, a plane here and I projected uh, both of those edges so let me um, let me activate that sketch so I just uh, created a, a plane here again I uh, projected both these edges that's what these uh, blue lines are and I'm just going to place a line and uh, I'm just going to bring it down and I can certainly dimension these if need be but uh, I want to run through this uh, tutorial a little bit quick so I just created a sketch and I just have a single line coming down off of two projected lines and I will go to my uh, rib and I'm going to select that rib and um, here's the selected rib a symmetrical quarter inch down to next and uh, so there I have it now if I want to do the same thing uh, at an angle uh, what I did is I went back and I um, I projected I created a plane at an angle and I'll uh, turn that on if need be uh, that plane right there so it's just a plane at an angle uh, from my origin I guess I just went into the origin and created an angle plane about that axis all right. So uh, from there, I went on and I created a sketch, and I placed a sketch, and I projected. Let me uh, start that sketch, and all I did was I projected this axis and uh, the bottom plate. So what I'm going to do, um, and you'll see it's right there. I'm just going to again. Uh, I'll bring up my sketch shortcut and I'll place a line and I'm just gonna hover here and I'm gonna bring it up and then um, uh, bring it out here someplace alright so uh, again uh, I can go through and put an angle uh, whatnot on there and I'm just going to say okay but I'll leave it uh, I'll just leave it as is so I'm going to stop the sketch and I am going to go to my shortcut add a rib I'll select that line and you'll see that it, it jumps out that's not the direction I want it so I'll flip it into the inside direction and I'll leave that at quarter inch to next symmetrical and I'll say OK now uh, I'll turn this sketch off you'll see that it does a pretty nice job um, one thing I'm not crazy about is the angle that it takes up here but uh, I guess a uh, little work you might be able to clean that up all right but it um that's how you do um, an angle <laughs> a rib at an angle to a wall so the other question was can I do that same thing that I did here on a curved surface a circular surface so uh, the answer to that is yes so uh, let me go to my sketch and here's the sketch I did pretty much the exact same thing let me edit that sketch and all I did is uh, have a plane here and I just projected these edges and uh, placed a sketch in there I just sketched a straight line uh, from those projected edges so I'll finish that sketch and I will create a rib using that line and again wrong direction let me flip it and there's my quarter inch rib so does a nice job uh, 
Let's see, let me turn that sketch off. So I still have one more. And same thing, uh, what I've done here is um, I created a few planes and I wanted to get this one, uh, I want to get it perpendicular to a curved surface. I placed a uh, axis where those two met and then I placed a plane at an angle through that edge and this one uh, 40 degrees something like that so I just have created that edge that uh, axis and then created a um, plane through it and let me see if I can bring that one up there it is so you can see that you know that works pretty good alright so let me uh, edit that sketch so I'll right click and edit the sketch and for this one again I'm just gonna bring up my sketch box shortcut and I am just going to again I projected uh, these edges onto that plane and I'll just bring it down uh, that looks pretty good finish the sketch and bring up my rib command I'll choose that one quarter inch symmetrical and I'll say OK. Let me turn off a few things here turn off to sketch. So there are those two and you know they both uh, clean up pretty nice around the circular edges. Uh, this one has the same sort of issue where it curves up I guess you know that's something either you may have to live with unless you want to edit that. But I think it still does a pretty nice job. So uh, to answer my uh, the two questions from my uh, YouTube videos, um, yes, you can, and there's the both methodologies. So I uh, hope that answers your question. Hope that gives you a little bit of information about creating some ribs in different uh, different methods. So if you like this video, um, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make a comment and uh, subscribe to our channel. Um, thank you very much for watching this, and until next time, this is Dave Reiner.